adopted via and LGU to promulgate and implement the IRR while the two other bills only mandate the NCAA and the DepEd as the lead agencies in coordination with the PSC, POC, and LGUs to promulgate and implement the IRR. That would be all, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Comsec. Um, before we rule on the matter, may I just inquire in regards of the IRR? IRR. Considering the indigenous uh, sports have no um, NSAs, uh, like regular sports, may we ask the NCIP if it has a similar program on indigenous games? I just want to be certain which agency is more capable of helping formulate necessary IRR on indigenous games. morning, Mr. Chair. Uh, for NCIP, we are more on research on the indigenous health systems on uh, sports and games. Uh, PSC, can we ask? Yes, Mr. Chair, if the, uh, the house would, would include PSC to be part in the in the crafting of the IRR, uh, we are willing, Mr. Chair, since we have been uh, doing this coordination before with the NCIP also, including with the POC, Mr. Chair. Wala talagang NSA para sa mga games na to, no? Actually, Mr. Chair, before the POC has a focal person on indigenous games, if I recall, it was Colonel Jeff Tamayo. Uh, who is the in charge of that? And we are coordinating with Colonel Jeep at the time when we participated in the international competition. And the PEC is in support of all the programs at the time. And so, up to now, Mr. Chair, we have that uh, a coordination with the POC. If ever there will be another Indigenous Games to be participated by the country internationally. <laughs> Thank you, Attorney. Di ba si Tamayo wala na? Hindi na siya active? Nag-hibernate nag siya, Mr. Chair. Nasa bundok. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sige. So, kailangan natin maghanap ng ibang representative. Oh. We will coordinate with the POC through uh, Bones Floro, Mr. Chair. Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, can we ask, uh, Sir Bones, kung meron silang tao na in charge dito? Bones, are you still there? Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, as of now, we still don't have a person. Because, uh, as Attorney Iroy said, medyo off the grid na si <laughs> Colonel Tamayo. So, we, uh, yes, we do agree that we, we need to find somebody. Okay, thank you. Baka you can find somebody na. So, maano natin to. Uh, okay, Mr. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. I mean, Mr. Chair, I think there is one NSA, Mr. Chair, who is participating in this uh, type of event, Mr. Chair. I will just get the name, Mr. Chair. Oh, and okay, thank you. Please forward to Thank Mr. You. Chair. Uh, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Vice Chair Richard. Yes, as, as, uh, as Vice President of the Philippine Olympic Committee, I will, I will, I will uh, bring this up in, in one of our Mr. meetings. Tracy. I will recommend Mr. Chair. Them to wait. Thank you, Vice Chair. Um, who, Mr. Who Chair. Was... Sorry, please identify. Mr. Chair. Um, I'm, uh, this is Mike Maredo, Philippine oh, Olympic yes, yes. Committee. Just to... Yeah. Sorry that I also have signal issues, so video is uh, it's better without the video. I just wanted to make sure that uh, we not uh, that the again as usual to make sure that there is an inclusion of people with disabilities in the indigenous games. Mentioning Jeff Tamayo back during the time of President uh, Ramos, uh, when they had this indigenous games uh, festival, uh, they did include people with disabilities. So I hope that the uh, the bill, or when it comes to law, uh, includes, of course, the uh, participation of our persons with disabilities, Mr. Chair. Uh, noted, um, Mr. Barreto, we will try to include that in, in the bill. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, anyone else who wants to say something? My colleagues? Uh, if none, uh, after... Noting the dis disagreeing provisions between the last Congress approved version and the two other bills, I believe uh, the provision included last Congress are material in attaining the objectives of the measure. 
Having said that, do I hear a motion to the, adopt the distinctive features of, as provided under Section 3, 4, 5, and 6 of the last Congress version? Good chair. Yes. Yes, go. The, you're asking for a motion yes, for... Uh, they include uh, those distinctive uh, features. Sections of, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Mr. Chair, I uh, move for the adoption of uh, Sections 3, 4, 5, 6. Having moved and seconded Sections um, 3, 4, 5, and 6 of last Congress version are hereby adopted. Uh, Mr. Chair? Uh, yes, Vice Chair Eric. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, with the indulgence of the uh, principal sponsors, uh, while we are in full support of this uh, bill, uh, I have noticed that the bills filed this Congress have no funding uh, provision to ensure the implementation of, of this very noble measure with the permission of the authors and the chair, perhaps we should insert a section for the funding. What is the pleasure of the vice chair? Uh, Mr. Chair, if, uh, if the authors are uh, amenable, I would like to propose the following amendments. Uh, section for appropriations uh, that will state the initial amount necessary for the implementation of this act shall be charged against the current year's appropriation of the PSC, the National Commission on Indigenous People, and the National Commission on Culture and Arts. Thereafter, such amount shall be included in the annual uh, General Appropriations Act of the concerned agencies. Uh, can we hear from the authors if there is? I think the authors are not here. So thank you. Uh, do I hear a motion to approve the proposed amendments? Mr. Chair, I move to approve the amendments. Second. May we now hear from our members if they have any suggestions or comments further improve the measures? So if none, there is no other comments or suggestions. I believe we are now ready to act on the measure. Do I hear a motion to approve House Bills 1651 and 4465 subject to amendments and style? Mr. Chair, I move to approve subject amendments in style. Again. Having moved, moved and seconded, House Bills 1651 and 4465 are hereby approved. The committee secretary is hereby directed to prepare a substitute bill incorporating all the, incorporating all the amendments and distinctive features adopted from, from the previously approved version and to transit Transmit the substitute bill to the Committee on Appropriations for its consideration. Thank you very much to our members and authors. Congratulations. Our next agenda is 2704, 4376, and 5190. At the outset, I would like to inform the body that House Bill 2704 is similar to the one approved by the House on the third reading last Congress, except for the separ separability and reappealing clause. House Bill 4376 is also similar except for the insertion of a title in Section 1, while House Bill number has no amount proposed for the sports programs funded and instead of PSC is proposed that the funding be sourced from PAGCOR. So that's how, that was House Bill 5190. May we now call on the principal authors to hear their sponsorship remarks. We recognize our principal author, um, Congressman Jude Asidre. Are you here? Uh, can we ask Kong 
Vice Chair Ortega. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. In behalf of the sponsors, Honorable uh, Yeda, Marike Romualdez, and Honorable Jude Asidre, I'd like to present uh, an act strengthening local sports programs to develop young athletes and appropriating funds there for explanatory note uh, reads golfer Yu Casaso, skater Marjolin Nidal, basketball player Jack Animam, gymnast Carlos Yulo, and Paul Walter EJ Obenya. These are just some Filipinos who sh shone bright in the international scene and brought pride to our country. Cannot be denied that the Philippines is home for many champions such as for it was able to bag several medals and winning various international competitions and tournaments. However, it cannot also be denied that with only a few Filipinos were able to internationally compete and represent the country, while Filipinos do not lack passion nor, nor talent, they should still be equipped with the necessary tools and skills to enhance performance, gain confidence, and to ensure victory. To be able to provide the country's promising youth athletes the necessary support they need, it is imperative upon the state to allocate funds and financial financially support them. This bill this bill seeks to seeks to strengthen local sports programs to develop young athletes through institutionalizing the three program the three program funds that will be used for giving young athletes vouchers to help them pay for their registration, membership, participation, and training fees, supporting local sports clubs, recreation clubs, and sports organizations for projects and programs, and assisting local sports clubs, recreation clubs, and sports organizations in improving and uh, in improving sports facilities. In view of the foregoing approval of this bill, is earnestly sought. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Thank you, Vice Chair. Um, Kong Dimaporo, Kong Rivilla, Kong Yu, and Kong Tanwanko is also with us today. Good morning. Um, next is House Bill 4376. Is the author around? If not, um, Vice Chair Anela. Uh, Article 14, Section 9 of the 1987 Constitution mandates that the state promote physical education and encourage sports programs, league competitions, and amateur sports, including training for international competitions to foster self-discipline, teamwork, and excellence for the development of a healthy and alert citizenry. Truly investing in the athletic talent at the earliest possible time would foster the future generation of national athletes thus ensuring that the country remains competitive in international sporting events. However, sports and other physical activities have other understated positive effect on the youth and on society as a whole. Aside from being an easy and enjoyable way to maintain good physical health, it could also greatly improve mental and social well-being and foster among the youth important values such as team spirit, self-discipline, and sportsmanship. Furthermore, studies have shown that sports and athletics can be a powerful tool for reducing crime rates by diverting at-risk individuals from delinquent behavior. Clearly, creating avenues for youth to engage in athletic activities would go a long way in creating well-rounded citizens. One of such avenues would be making already existing facilities and establishments more accessible to youth of all backgrounds, which is the measure that the, pres the present bill forwards. Thus, passage of this bill is earnestly sought. Thank you. Thank you, Vice Chair. Um, thank you to all our sponsors. Um, may we recognize also uh, Congressman Gaston Bunting, who's with us today. Uh, good morning, sir. So may we now hear? May we now hear from our resource persons for their comments? We have invited ten agencies for these measures. We likewise invited NSAs whose sports are being played regularly in ma major international competitions, such as the Olympics, so they can contribute to this vital sports legislations. May we start with the Philippine uh, Sports Commission. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, on the part of the PEC, Mr. Chair, regarding the proposed bill, uh, 
the current practice literature under the Republic Act 6847, particularly Section 13, third paragraph, is that local clubs or club systems are members of the national sports associations. Uh, in this uh, particular proposed bill, Chair, it stated that the sports club, recreation club, or organization is duly accredited by the Philippine Sports Commission. So in effect, Mr. Chair, this will amend the the, the, said the provisions of RE 6847. And second, Mr. Chair, as to the funding, uh, right now, Mr. Chair, uh, the, the proposed has uh, three type of funds. Uh, but then again, Chair, the source of funds uh, is not yet been stated in the proposed bill. However, Mr. Chair, with this uh, proposed uh, uh, butcher system or a subsidy system, uh, we know, Mr. Chair, that the PAC is just a, an agency uh, which is under the office of the president, which we do not have a regional offices. Uh, in this type, Mr. Chair, I think what we need here, Mr. Chair, while we support the bill is that it is more of local application, Mr. Chair, that the the system should be through the LGUs, and we require a registry system, just like a, the practice of the uh, some uh, international uh, or yeah. other countries, Mr. Chair, they have a registry system within their LGUs to determine who are the the club uh, organized. Because if you note, Mr. Chair, in in our for example, district, there are clubs like basketball clubs, but they are not organized, meaning registered with the Security and Exchange Commission. And there are clubs that are also within the locality that are registered with the Philippine Sports Commission. Uh, the basic example here, Mr. Chair, is that one in this area where the club system is very strong. The Philippine Football Federation, Mr. Chip, Chair, they have 33 regional football associations, and each of these regional football associations, they have a club system. The club member of the regional football associations are all registered with the Security and Exchange Commission also. So these clubs, they have also members there, children who play football, and some of these, Mr. Chair, are, are aligned with the international uh, Federation, because this is the mandate of their uh, IF. But in the Philippines, Mr. Chair, we have to find a way that uh, the type of uh, subsidy system that will be given to the to the athletes, because we have identified uh, athletes here who are in the locality, and they should be a member of the club. And at least there is also an age limit, Mr. Chair, under age of 18. Because right now, Mr. Chair, uh, the PEC has been also receiving a request for the funding of their club or their team for their registration fee in the in the league. But sometimes we we were not able to address all of this because imagine if we are going to adopt this system under the PEC, the main funds of the PEC is for the national sports associations, 80% of which has been allocated, and the remaining 20% for the admin and operational. We are just lucky that Congress helped PSC in the, in the funding for the international competition because right now the current NEP of the PEC is just $218 million. So if uh, we're going to implement this under the PEC, Mr. Chair, it would be a daunting task. But at the same time, this is challenging. However, we just uh, provide some, some additional inputs that how it should be implemented. Uh, for the information of the honorable members of the committee, the chairman of the Philippine Sports Commission is trying to revive in making, in fact, he is already making representation with the executive secretary for the revival of the National Physical Fitness and Sports Development Council. I think this is the, the council down to the barangay, Mr. Chair, that will enable to implement this type of program through that council because the organization involved there are the League of Provinces, the League of Cities, and each city has its own Physical Fitness and Sports Development Council down to the barangay. And I think, Mr. Chair, with the, with the revival of this council, 
uh, it will help this program up to the barangay uh, if we were able or the Congress can allocate programs or funds. I think, Mr. Chair, we would just like to have a sports registry in each of those identified uh, council areas that has a jurisdiction over the, the clubs. Uh, in the same manner, Mr. Chair, the National Sports Association, should, I think it's high time that the N is also to strengthen their club membership because uh, this is uh, where the the grassroots are all identified, Mr. Chair. In fact, our vice chairperson, Honorable Eric Arbohain, has a a club of uh, good swimmers also. So uh, because of that, Mr. Chair, there is uh, what we call the spawning ground of grassroots athletes going to the national team. So uh, I think, Mr. Chair, this is one of the uh, missing in the in the proposed bill, but this is a, a noble bill, Chairman, uh, and members of the committee, because it will uh, help augment the requirements of the uh, athletes in the community. We call community sports development, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Attorney. Can you submit to the committee your position paper? Yes, Mr. Chair. We will, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Um, next, Filipino Olympic Committee. Bones, are you still there? Yes, Mr. Chair, still here. As we, we do support the bill, uh, Mr. Chair, Your Honors. Uh, we, we do have a comment uh, along with what uh, Attorney Ira said for PSC. Is that, uh, you know, strengthening uh, nationwide, now are you? Uh, I think it's, it's also about high time that uh, all, all of us in the NSAs as well, uh, you know, uh, uh, hype up and, and get our act together with regards to grassroots and, and uh, regional uh, discoveries and, and, and games. No? So uh, I think uh, basically we just can't rely on the PSE to go nationwide to, uh, doing grassroots. We should also do our part because, um, you know, it's basically the NSA's job to do that. So... So we should be in partnership with the PSC going all over and strengthening. And, and obviously, this bill uh, helping us fund you know, it will be great. So we are in absolute support of it, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Uh, do we have someone from DepEd here already? Can comment? Wala pa. Philippine uh, Paralympic Committee, Phil Spada, uh, Sir Mike Barreto. around also um sir mike barreto are you still there yes mr chair can you hear you're, me now yes you're can you hear me? yes thank you mr chair uh yes of course we are in support of the bill but as again we um submitted a position paper mr chair and uh, your honors uh and if i may already include for the other bills that have been proposed uh to include the institutionalizing of the philippine national games uh, that, uh, again, we uh, invoke the United Nations Convention on the Rights of People with Disability, Article 30, uh, stating the inclusion of uh, children and youth uh, with, of people with disability to participate in sports. And, of course, um, I might as well add already, Mr. Chair, because I will have to leave in a while for a lunch meeting, that in our position paper as well, uh, we would also would like in the, the next bills that you will be discussing, that the Philippine National Paragames be also included uh, uh, as, as, uh, as, uh, to be institutionalized as well on a yearly basis and supported by funding by the government. So, sir, uh, yes, um, uh, not to be so repetitive, but obviously it's important for us to do so. May we just uh, uh, appeal that all these bills that are being proposed include, of course, the inclusion of our para athletes, including the youth, and of course um, our national players. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Sir Mike. Uh, can we hear from our NSAs? Is swimming here around? NSA of swimming. Miss Christina De Guzman. Eleven twelve a.m. Press home to open. Number. Or Mr. Ronald Alejo. Guzman, eh, Guzman there. Uh, Christina de Guzman or Mr. Ronald, are you around? 
Wala pa. About, yes po, uh, Mr. Chair. You're recognized. Yes po, good morning, Honorable Chair. Uh, to all the members of the House and all the guests, uh, my name is uh, Ronald Alejo Giriba of uh, Philippine Swimming Inc. Events. Um, I'm attending this uh, second regular meeting of the Committee on Youth and uh, Sports Development on behalf of Philippine Swimming Corporation. Swimming Incorporated President Lailani Velasco. Um, on behalf of uh, our Federation, Philippine Swimming Inc., we are in full support of House Bill numbers 2704, 4376, and 5990. Uh, this is for the strengthening of local sports programs to develop young athletes. Um, we believe that, that should the said bills be implemented, it will surely help us make more future champions across all sporting events, not only in swimming in our country. Um, as we all know, athletes have uh, sacrificed big portions of their lives trying to achieve their athletic goals to give pride, honor, and glory to our beloved country. Um, they put their mind and body on the line on a daily basis, and that is why by supporting them, we are telling them that all their hard work, hard work uh, is uh, worthwhile. This is for the total development and the uh, success of sports in our country. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and to all the authors of these bills. Thank you. Um, do we have someone from Patafa? Uh, Mr. Capistrano? You, you don't have volume, sir. Uh, good morning to uh, honorable uh, ladies and uh, uh, gentlemen. Uh, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to uh, to, to be around. And uh, yes, uh, Otafa or uh, the Philippine uh, Athletics Track and Field Association uh, supports uh, uh, these bills uh, uh, in Congress. Just one uh, 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 comment. Uh, I, I noted there's a clause there on the on the Palarong uh, Pambansa, uh, which will uh, which which together with the uh, uh, local uh, governments will provide a feeder to uh, to the uh, Philippine National Games. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, this may be uh, a little uh, off uh, off the field, sir. Sir Terry, excuse. Yeah. you are commenting in the Philippine National Games. Uh, we're still at the uh, young athletes assistance. Oh yeah, the, uh, well, uh, young athletes uh, uh, assistance for that matter. In the case of uh, well, this will be tied up to the PNG a little later, you know, but. In the case of young uh, athletes, uh, the part of, for example, uh, is limited. Its operations is uh, limited to uh, national athletes uh, only, uh, which is provided for, as far as budgets are concerned, provided for by the uh, by the PSC. So there is actually no uh, no uh, provisions for uh, uh, young athletes. So yes, uh, uh, this uh, bill. Will, uh, will uh, create an opportunity for uh, NSAs like us to be able to provide for uh, development of uh, young athletes. And that is why we also uh, fully support this bill. Thank you, Sir Terry. Thank you. Thank you. Um, anyone from fencing? I think uh, Vice Chair Thomas. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, reading this bill, Mr. Chair, as much as uh, the government would like to provide funds for for young athletes in different uh, sports uh, sports clubs associations. It will be very difficult for, for the Philippine sports to do this, Mr. Chair, because of the number of clubs, associations all over the country. Definitely, the PSC will run out of funds if they will push through with this. Uh, the funds of the PSC will be is very limited, as it is right now. 
uh, even in supporting uh, the national sports associations and our elite athletes. Um, my, my humble uh, opinion, Mr. Chair, is that uh, a big part of this should, uh, should be that the LGUs should also help in um, providing for, for funds or the sports associations themselves should find a way to, to fund the, their own clubs. Uh, it will be very difficult again for, for the PSC to, to, to support all, all clubs. No. Uh, included here are improving sports facilities. Uh, again, the funds of the PSC is very limited on this, Mr. Chair. Even their own, even their own sports facilities, they're already having a, a difficult time in, in maintaining them in Ultra and uh, in uh, Rizal Memorial. But what more all over the country? So a big part of this should be uh, the the LGUs uh, sh should help out in in uh, promoting this uh, this uh, house bill, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Vice Chair. I think there is an LGU component in this bill, so I think uh, yeah. they will be work, uh, helping out also with this measure. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Yes, uh, Kong Dino. Yes, in line with what uh, Congressman Gomez mentioned, and I read in one of the bills that there will be a local sports council component. Uh, because yes, uh, what Congressman Gomez said about the funding, if we're going to promote these regional clubs and have them register with SEC, have them um, uh, create a uh, registry, registration alone alone with the SEC is already costly. And then um, maintaining the uh, the yearly uh, repertorial requirements of a SEC registration amounts to cost. So if we pass that to the PSE, talaga maubos ang pondo ng PSE. So to get the local sports councils involved, to get the LGUs involved, uh, I'd also want to add, we can get the SK, Masangguting Kabataan, get them more active in this uh, in the in the bill, make it uh, more or less mandatory or obligatory for them to look into this uh, or to be part uh, in parcel of the development of the of the youth development of sports. Uh, that's it, Mr. Chairman. I agree, Mr. Chair, with the uh, Honorable Congressman that the SKs should should be involved. As a matter of fact, uh, a, lo a lot of uh, SKs do not know how to use their funds and or even up to this time have not utilized any of their funds. So I, I think we should also include in this bill, Mr. Chair, uh, the fund utilization of the SK for uh, in supporting uh, the local sports clubs. Thank you, Vice Chair. Um, is someone from the Philippine Football Association here? Maybe we can ask insights from them. Kasi maganda yung ginagawa nila sa youth football nila. May mga club teams din sila. So maybe we can ask them if they're here. Or maybe Attorney Eroy can help us. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, uh, the Philippine Football Federation, through their club system, uh, they are they have one registry. Uh, all the clubs has been registered with uh, online with the Philippine Football Federation. And all the athletes are also registered with the Philippine Football Federation. So down the line, Mr. Chair, the, the club, uh, they have athletes. So sometimes the PAP will give also subsidy to this uh, regional football association to promote their clubs and the football itself, Mr. Chair, because... FIFA has been give, extending so much funds for the grassroots sports development. So in this case, Mr. Chair, for example, in football, let us say in uh, particular in Davao City, Mr. Chair, they have uh, one regional football associations and they have a lot of clubs within the regional football associations. And these clubs, uh, for them to be, they are organized well. And these are the ones who also elect the head of the regional football associations. So each club has a, a mix of children, uh, age group, U, U9, U8, U10, U12, U15, U16, Mr. Chair. So because uh, usually children loves to kick ball, so that's why it's easy to organize football festival or football events, Mr. Chair. So this is why uh, they have been uh, aligned with what is the, the NSA is being promoting, Mr. Chair. So I hope the other NSAs will also 
align with it and this could be a good model, Mr. Chair, so that we can we be able to know who's club that needs an assistance from the local sports council, Mr. Chair. All their clubs are registered sa SEC. O yung umbrella club lang, yung pinaka-regional. Usually, yung ang mga nasa ilalim, hindi na. Yung umbrella nila, Mr. Chair, is naka-registered. And then some of the umbrella within the umbrella are also registered, Mr. Chair, because okay. they issue receipts for their own membership also, Mr. Chair. Itong mga sub-clubs under the regional football clubs. So. Okay, sige. Thank you. Um, we have Philippine Athletics. Edward Ko, you are recognized. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, with all due respect to uh, to uh, my president, I, I share his uh, views and uh, positions he had conveyed earlier. So uh, I I defer to him, and he has already shared his position. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the National Academy of Sports. Uh, Ms. Reyes. Thank you, Honorable Chair. And uh, good morning to uh, the Honorable Members of the Committee. Can I be heard? Hello. Um, of course, we, we laud the authors uh, of these bills in their recognition of the need to provide uh, support for the grassroots sports program. And indeed, encouraging the youth to involve themselves in sports and physical activities at an early age will result in positive effects, not only on their physical health, as, but also as well uh, in their um, mental well-being. And we agree um, with the explanatory note of Representative uh, De Los Santos when he said that creating avenues for youth to engage in athletic um, activities would go a long way in creating well-rounded citizens. That indeed is also a vision of NAS, the National Academy of Sports to be at the forefront of global sports development and education, producing well-rounded student athletes equipped with ability and passion to become a source of national pride. However, NAS will not fall uh, within the ambit of the bills because NAS is neither a sports or recreation club nor a sports organization. NAS is a government agency that is attached to the Department of Education with the chairperson of the Philippine Sports Commission as our co-chair of its governing body, the Board of Trustees. Nonetheless, we believe that empowering uh, these sports clubs and organizations will benefit NAS as they can serve as feeders in support of the selection and admission procedures of NAS, which we call the NAS Annual Search for Competent, Exceptional, Notable, and Talented Student Athlete Scholars, or the NAS and SAS. It is our proposal that a provision be included in these bills to mandate clubs and organizations and even LGUs to create an avenue to scout potential athletes in grades 7 and 8 uh, and uh, also develop a well designed and sustainable programs, which um, will also qualify them for admission to the NAS program. And um, we would like to um, also um, inform that uh, the NAS, which with the support of the government, will endeavor to further develop and enhance their skills and abilities to enable them to bring honor to our country and our flag in the near future, Mr. Chair. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, can we ask lang, uh, ilan na ang students ng NAS na yan? Uh, now, we have 117 students po. That's grades uh, 7 and 8 combined. Okay. 60 lang yung, ano, diba, quota? 60 lang yung quota sa inyo dati, di ba? Yung initial quota. Tama? Yeah, actually, uh, we are targeting supposedly 150 uh, students per grade level. But okay. because of the pandemic situation, so ilan lang po yung na-admit. Okay, thank you, ma'am. And also, uh, sorry, Mr. Chair, also in the absence of Palarong Pambansa, so uh, the limited, you know, there's a limited uh, admission uh, number. For okay, instance. thank you. So anyone else who wants to give a comment?
So if um, there's no more comments, uh, no one wants to say anything anymore. Uh, can, do I hear a motion? Uh, can I just one last? Uh, yes, sir, um, Mike. Uh, uh, sir, Terry, ba? Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, this thing on the, on the, I think we may have uh, left the, uh, the importance of the uh, the DepEd in uh, in all of this, because DepEd is the only institution that was mentioned throughout this morning that has uh, reached to every barrio, to every barangay in uh, in the Philippines, and uh, it's the only institution or the only organization with this kind of network that is uh, very very centralized. And can uh, and can command uh, instructions uh, and uh, uh, orders to all reaches of uh, the republic, and that starts with the physical uh, education, the PE classes, and this is where you, the actual grassroots will be coming from. You know, I don't think uh, uh, any NSA would have the same reach as the Department of Education. And in the DepEd, it is inculcated in the DepEd. And as a matter of fact, it is in our constitution that, uh, that the government should pay great uh, heed to the physical education of uh, our, uh, our youth. You know? and not only youth, but uh, the nation as a whole. And uh, over the years, over the decades, and I'm not too sure exactly where this started, probably during the K-12 uh, uh, implementation, PE classes have been reduced from uh, two or three times a week. I'm talking about the public school system. From uh, two to three times a week, it has now been reduced to about one once a week as far as uh, physical education classes are concerned why is this uh, important the physical in the physical uh, education uh, uh, curriculum or part of the curriculum uh, is the physical education all these sports of uh, uh, nsas generally most of these sports are part of the physical education system and from these uh, and from these PE classes, the schools internally arise arise arises the uh, or uh, out of these uh, physical education classes, the intramurals are held. So from the very very beginning, from a very young age, uh, grade school uh, and uh, high school, uh, the there is already competition already. On a very very vast uh, scale, but uh, you know uh, we may not we may have missed this uh, 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 opportunity over the years. To how do you? I, I can't find the word for this. Eh? To uh, to utilize this uh, vast network of uh, uh, grassroots, which is already which has always been there. You know? As a matter of fact, uh, uh, most of our uh, great athletes, or a lot of our uh, uh, national athletes, came from the public school sector. You know, this is the largest group of, uh, or this is the largest. Uh, uh, actually, this is the largest sports network that uh, you can have in your hands, or that is available right now. You know, I don't think NS any NSAs can uh, reach uh, all these uh, 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 levels of uh, LGUs or LGU levels, except probably the SBP basketball. But uh, the rest of the NSAs, you know, uh, or your honorable, the honorable ladies and gentlemen of, uh, of uh, this uh, uh, committee may want to look at this uh, 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 distortion, if, if I may... Uh, if I may add, uh, from having three PE classes a week, 
in the past, vis-a-vis -vis the last uh, more than one decade, we are now down to one PE plus. And it is quite uh, detrimental as far as uh, the grassroots levels are concerned. With that, thank you for the few minutes that uh, you guys, uh, the Congress, uh, uh, the committee uh, gave me. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, noted, Paul. We'll, we'll include your comments in the substitute bill. Um, I think someone from the DBM is wants to talk also. You are recognized. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairperson. My name is Nihal abdul from the DBM Budget Information Legislative Information Service. Um, the DBM will be submitting its position paper on the matter, but um, at this juncture, we would like to manifest that uh, we concur with the remarks or the view of the Honorable Congressman Gomez that the funding requirements should be carefully considered in view of the limited fiscal resources of the PSC um, and for local government units to be involved. Um, in order for the DBM to establish the estimated funding requirements for the three uh, separate funds proposed in the bills, we need uh, the pertinent data from the PSC on the projected number of young athletes, sports clubs, recreation clubs, and sports organizations, uh, as mentioned in the bills. Uh, that's all, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Um, so if anyone else wants to comment, if none, uh, maybe we, we should... Um, Hear any motion to approve the measure? Is there a motion to approve House Bill 2704, 4376, and 5190 having... Uh, oh. Motion Mr. Chair, I move that all members be... Uh, all members present be co-authors of all said bills. Uh, Mr. Chair, a uh, motion to approve um, House Bill as proposed, uh, numbers 2704, 4376, and uh, House Bill 5190, subject to amendments. Mr. Chairman, uh, before we approve the uh, or deal with the motion of uh, Congressman Boyan, can we... Uh, Get a second for the motion of Congressman Revilla regarding the co authorship of uh, all members present. Okay. So, do we hear a motion to approve? I second the motion of uh, Congressman Revilla that all members present uh, during this meeting be uh, included as co authors of the bills. Thank you, Paul. So, having moved and seconded, uh, House Bill 2704 for 376 and 590 are hereby sub, uh, approved subject to style and amendments. The complex is hereby uh, directed to prepare the substitute bill. Okay, now. So congratulations to the authors. So next on our... Agenda are House Bills 934-1954-2968-4881, which all seeks to institutionalize the conduct of the Philippine National Games. We have invited 15 agencies to give their comments, but before we recognize our resource persons, let us hear from our sponsorship remarks of our distinguished authors beginning with our Vice Chair, Richard Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Dear colleagues, the Philippine Constitution mandates the state to promote physical education and sports to foster self-discipline, teamwork, and excellence to the, for the development of a healthy and alert citizenry. In furtherance of this mandate, there should be programs that will encourage the entire citizenry to participate in physical fitness and sports and excel on these programs because there are so many talents around who just needs to be tapped and trained. 
It is also observed that over the years, despite abundance in supposed good or potential athletes, the outcome of our athletes' participation in international competitions like the Southeast Asian Games, Asian Games, and the Olympic Games have been dismal. The Philippines is always eager for medals. We recognize the efforts and capabilities of our athletes, but the sad reality is that there is a perennial lack of athletes and the lack of pool of adequately trained athletes. This proposed bill seeks to find solution to this dilemma of Philippine sports by providing a structure for a truly integrated and comprehensive national sports program, linking the grassroots sports promotion to the elite sports development and encourage all local government officials to promote the development of sports in the countryside covering all barangays, towns, municipalities, cities and provinces. This is also to encourage and assist various national sports associations to promote their respective sports at the grassroots level, providing the necessary linkages with the LGUs or the local government units. As of today, what we have is a school-based Palarum Pambansa for public schools. However, its participation is limited to in-school athletes only or Students in the primary and secondary level, college and university students, out-of-school youth, graduates and professionals who can be source for physically mature and competitive athletes are absurdly excluded. While we have the UAAP and NCAA for private colleges and universities more often than not, sports are not a priority for the athletes from these collegiate leagues. The Palarong Pambansa, the UAP, and the NCAA only include sports that are regularly played in public schools. Other Olympic Asian Games sports, Southeast Asian Games sports, which have been proven to give our country more medals in international competitions, are not included in these programs. The proposed Philippine National Games hopes to be a venue for scouting for potential athletes in various sports. This act hopes to institutionalize a truly comprehensive national grassroots sports program that will harness the vast potentials of the citizenry in discovering and developing champion athletes who could excel in international competition, thus giving our country pride and international goodwill and addressing the long-standing problems of Philippine sports in general. And to achieve this, the direct involvement of LGUs is truly imperative. It is my fervent hope that this bill be finally passed into a law. The time is now. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Vice Chair Richard. Can we hear from Congressman Gus Tambunting on House Bill 4881? Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. As stated by, uh, I will not anywhere read the constitutional provision as stated by Congressman um, uh, Gomez, but I would like um, to say that consistent to the constitution, constitution provision, constitutional provision, this proposed measure seeks to prov to uh, provide a structure for a truly integrated and comprehensive national sports program linking grassroots sports promotion to elite sports development and encouraging all local government officials to promote the development of sports in the countryside, covering all barangays, towns, municipalities, cities, and provinces. This bill shall likewise encourage and assist various national sports associations in promoting their respective sports at the grassroots level, providing the necessary linkages with local government units. The victory of Hyderin Diaz, Carlo Paalam, and Yumi Marshall in the recent Olympics has taught us that we can excel in athletic competitions. Through the Philippine National Games, we hope to find the next Olympic gold medalist and future Filipino world champions. Thus, we must strengthen our grassroots program by institutionalizing the Philippine National Games. On behalf of the people of the Paranaque City 2nd District and for the common good 
of the Filipino people, the approval of the said measure is earnestly sought. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Congas. Uh, for House Bill 2968, we have uh, Congressman Tony Goles. Thank you, Mr. Chair. The field of sports has only recently begun to experience a surge of support from the government. For years, our athletes have decried the lack of support from the government. Through some successful reformations in the respective governing sports agencies, like the Philippine Sports Commission and the Philippine Olympic Committee, the Filipino athletes are slowly gaining the support and confidence that they need in competing for the glory of the country. Building on the growing support for the field of sports in the country, it is pivotal that the country discovers and develops its local talents in every sport. This bill therefore seeks to increase the support for the sports community by institutionalizing a more comprehensive version of the Palarong Pambansa. It aims, up, it aims to up the ante of the Palarong Pambansa by utilizing the LGUs to cater to its local athletes and help them in competing within their chosen sport through various national tournaments and programs. With the cooperation of both the public and the private sectors in the field of sports, the Philippine National Games shall serve as a training ground for the budding athletes. Budgetary support for the program shall be provided through this bill in the hopes that this will further enkindle the confidence of our athletes that the country is truly rooting for their success. In view of the foregoing, the approval of this bill is hereby earnestly sought. That's the end, uh, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Kong Tony. Um, I was informed by Comsec that last uh, November, October, uh, October 25, uh, she had a meeting with uh, Vice Chair Gomez, and I think um, Vice Chair Gomez would like some amendments with his bill. Yes, Mr. Chair, I um, I um, had a meeting with with the Comsec to uh, hmm. to initially. Uh, um put some um uh, revisions on uh, on the consolidated bill and uh this is something that uh we, we uh we can uh, uh discuss uh, this morning mr chair Acknowledge uh, Congressman Ernesto Dionisio Jr. for his presence. Okay. Uh, congratulations also, his bill was approved already. I was appraised that the uh, pursuant to Executive Order 163 of former President Fidel Ramos created the Philippine National Games, and since then it has been part of the PSC program. May we request the PSC to appraise us as the status of implementation of the Philippine National Games? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, by, by history, Mr. Chair, in 1994, or in 1993, former President uh, Valdez Ramos issued Executive Order 163 for the establishment and for the uh, Philippine National Games. And at that time, Mr. Chair, 94, 95, and 96, we have three PNG, and it was stopped for a period of, I think, 14 years, Mr. Chair, because it, again, uh, started in 2011. 2012, 2013, 14, 15, 16, and the last one is 2018, Mr. Chair. So while this uh, PNG, Mr. Chair, has been proposed by the PSC in its budget, which was also part of the 2023 budget, Mr. Chair, the PSC now, Mr. Chair, fully supported this uh, institut institutionalization of the Philippine National Games because, Mr. Chair, uh, right now, the international games 
are too many already and the national sports associations i think the either they have uh few elite talents uh, maybe because or lack of competition in the philippines mr chair so with this uh png law or bill mr chair the the psc in coordination with the poc and the nsas would be able to to determine the elite of the elites of the filipino athletes and if i may mr chair so that the the bill would be able also to align with the parum pambansa law that we propose also some of the regular sports that should be played in the philippine national games uh, align with the uh Olympic Games or Asian Games, Mr. Chair, because uh, sometimes there are sports that were not part of the Sea Games or Asian Games or the Olympics uh, has been part as a regular sports in the Philippine National Games, Mr. Chair. So I think for, for just to ensure that this mandatory sports under the PNG, Mr. Chair, uh, we will coordinate with the author, Honorable uh, Richard Gomez, to to also uh, include uh, certain numbers of sports that would be played regularly so that uh, whoever sits in the commission, Mr. Chair, will not change the number of sports because every time there is a, a PNG, the, the numbers of sports keep changing, Mr. Chair, as to the, it's either because lack of funds or the funds is not uh, uh, able to support or the entire games and also the one of the concerns mr chair that we encountered based on our experience also the the way how the png is uh, prepa uh, prepared by the psc uh sometimes too abrupt mr chair because the eo 163 it, it is held every two years and in this bill also mr, mr. chair is also every two years so i guess mr chair if the the pc's budget for next year will be approved we have a png next year but the planning mr chair should be at least four years also just like the olympics because the duration of the lgo sometimes also uh, because of lack of funding also mr chair so supposed to be 2018 is the, was the next png but because of the pandemic and this year mr chair uh, it was not yet part of the pc budget what we are going to implement this year is just the Batang Pinoy uh, reintroductory. In fact, Mr. Chair, so with the PNG, Mr. Chair, uh, despite this is pending as of this moment, we will also implement next year the PNG if, if the budget will be approved. And, and at that time, Mr. Chair, moving forward, uh, that will be institutionalized already. So for the PEC, Mr. Chair, we fully support the bill, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Attorney. Makano proposed budget, Major. I think, Mr. Chair, in the in the in the proposed, I think it is two hundred million, Mr. Chair. Yeah. Thank you. Go. Yeah. Mr. Chair. Uh, yes. Mike Barreto, Mr. Chair. Ah, uh, yes, Mike Barreto. Can we recognize Congressman? I'm sorry, Mr. Chair. I was I already nagpaalam na kanina pero. Uh, just about today, I really would like the um, the committee uh, after the uh, statement of uh, Executive Director Attorney Eroy that the uh, National Pirate Games as well, or the Philippine National Pirate Games as well, be considered uh, in the budget or if not in the program of the Philippine Sports Commission on a yearly basis, because this is also where we uh, identify and uh, talents that um, will make it to. Uh, to our Philippine national team that will compete in the ASEAN Para Games, Asian Para Games, and of course the Paralympic Games. And uh, though we have uh, participation in the Palora Pabansa also now, we are limited to four sports and we are uh, also lobbying that they increase the number of sports in the Palora Pabansa for our athletes, para athletes in school. So, uh, Mr. Chair, I hope that uh, again it's included in our, our position paper that if this uh, bill is passed that an, a budget as well if not uh, it includes also the conduct of a national philippine national para games as well mr chair thank uh, you noted noted sir mike uh, can we recognize kong vice chair gomez 
Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, in our initial uh, meeting with, with Comsec, uh, there are salient features uh, in the in, in the bill that uh, I'd like to to bring up to this body. Uh, the Philippine National Games. The Philippine National Games should be uh, shall be the government's premier national sports competition, which will be held every two years, or, or it should be a biennial uh, biennial event. Uh, the Philippine Sports Commission shall be the governing body of the Philippine National Games program and form an executive committee in the Philippine National Games National Secretariat. The DILG shall be in charge of the LGUs participating in the Philippine National Games. Participating LGUs shall organize a multi-sectoral local sports council, which will have distinct constituencies and sole authority in delegating their participants. Local sports councils must have a chairman and the armed force of the Philippines chief of staff as the head of the local sports council. The Philippine Olympic Committee shall be in charge of the National Sports Associations participating in the Games. The National Sports Associations shall be in charge of organizing the competitions of their respective sports. A competitor in the Philippine National Games must comply with the eligibility rules of the Philippine National Games and the NSA is concerned and must be entered by representing his local sports council. The preparation and organization of a PNG shall amount shall have an amount, uh, well, initially, uh, which can be discussed. Uh, we, we just talked about having 50 million pesos, no? but uh, hearing from Mato and Iroy, 200 million would be much better if uh, the DBM would allow. Uh, and appropriated by the National Treasury through the General Appropriations Fund of the Philippine Sports Commission. The training of the athletes shall be appropriated through, I think this is very important, Mr. Chair, through the additional 1% in the LGU's annual internal revenue allotment or the national tax allocation. Nang sa ganun, yung uh, mga LGU's will have a, a distinct and separate fund for sports programs alone. Same as sa disaster fund, uh, mandated na 5% for, for LGU's. Meron din sila sarili nilang uh, uh, special education fund. So the 1% will be for a sports fund. The DALG and the PSC shall jointly issue the implementing rules and regulations and also part of uh, uh, the initial talks that the, to determine the mandatory sports to be played in the Philippine National Games. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Um, may, may we remind our colleagues that uh, there will be a nominal voting, so please stay online or on board um, later on. So, uh, Vice Chair Eric? Yes, uh, Mr. Chair. Um Yun nga po, uh, since the Philippine National Games is a multi-sport uh, event, uh, may we know from the PSC and POC uh, or the POC how many regular NSAs, yung regular category NSAs are uh, are being uh, accredited already by the PSC and the POC. And the second question there is, uh, uh, from that list, which are uh, going to be part of the PNG? Or lahat ba sila, or hindi sila lahat? Because uh, I think uh, my personal uh, question, Mr. Chair, is that uh, since nabanggit nga po ni Atoyne Iroy of the PSC na this is for the national team, uh, uh, I guess all regular sports should be included dahil uh, selection to the national team is our primary objective, the best of the best. So sana po... Uh, Ganun rin po ang maging uh, implementation ng PNG uh, uh, for the for the coming biennial event if ever na ma-approve po yung budget. Mr. Chair, Mr. Vice Chair, the currently the PSC received the number of NSAs is now is 74. The regular is 54. We have 10 recognized and 10 associate members. Uh, out of this 54, Mr. Chair, if we are looking at the Olympic Games, mostly we have around 36 to 40 sports. That is a regular sports played in the Olympics. So maybe we can identify, Mr. Chair, because right now we have already a five international. This next year alone, we have IMAG, the Asian Indoor Mixed Martial Arts Games. 
some of which are not part of the Olympic Games, but they are played in the IMAG, Mr. Chair. And then we have the beach games, some of which are not part of the Olympic Games, but they are regularly played in the uh, beach games. We have World Beach Game, Combat Sports. We have, the, of course, the Sea Games, Mr. Chair, the, but the sports, they have a Tier 1 sports and they have also Tier 2 sports or Tier 3. But uh, these Sea Games right now, I think, is the biggest one that the POC will be sending despite some uh, obstacles in the participation due to the requirements by the host organizing committee. And most of which, Mr. Chair, I think the, the numbers should be aligned with the Olympic sports as played uh, during the, the, that particular Olympic Games, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Attorney. Oh, how about from the POC? Bones, are you still there? Yes, Mr. Chair. I'm sorry. I was, uh, was on a call. What was the question again, Mr. Chair? Uh, Vice Chair Eric, the question now again. Uh, Sir Bones, uh, magandang magandang tanghali. How are you? Hello, sir. <laughs> uh, ang tanong lang isang kasi um, it's a multi-sport event, the PNG. So, and then the, uh, the objective is really for the national uh, team, the best of the best. Ika nga. So, um, uh, how many sports are uh, accredited or regularly or are considered regular sports under the POC? And um, in your uh, opinion, with the POC, how many sports should be part of the uh, PNG? Uh, considering that this is for the national team, uh, I mentioned earlier na my personal opinion is that uh, if this is for the to find the best of the best at the very uh, 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 Onset, it has to um, katulad sinabi kanina, uh, be able to produce athletes for very important international events of the country. Thank you. Thank you, Vice Chair. Uh, sir, uh, I think uh, Attorney Ira has already given the number of NSAs so that that's very accurate. We have 54 regular, 9 and, and 12 recognized. So, uh, regarding the, the number of sports and what sports should be played in the Philippine National Games, first of all, uh, POC fully supports the bill on the Philippine National Games. Secondly, is uh, our opinion is that the more sports, the better, definitely. You know? Why? It's, it's, uh, if I may add, Vice Chair, it's not just about finding the best of the best, which we, we always do anyways on, on a daily basis. But aside from that, the, I think, sir, the bigger uh, purpose of the Philippine National Games is actually because all of us, we talk about elite athletes, then junior athletes, and then grassroots but before having a pool of grassroots and participation, I think, sir, uh, what, what we need to do is spark the interest of kids, uh, our youth, to even consider and, and want to play these particular sports or wherever their calling may be. So what sparks the interest the best? For me, in my personal opinion, sir, is that uh, our golfing heroes. So anytime that we do have more competitions, it's not confined just to the Olympic Games, to the Asian Games, to the Sea Games. If we have our own Philippine National Games and, and, and uh, thrive in it and, and uh, it's disseminated, everyone can see it, then, then we develop uh, golfing heroes uh, and, and interest from our youth. No? So th th that is our opinion on that, sir. Thank you, uh, Bones. Uh, I think uh, Kong Eric would like to make some, uh, Kong Richard would like to make some amendments again. Yes, Mr. Chair, thank you so much. Uh, while, while we are on the topic of uh, determining uh, mandatory sports for, for the Philippine National Games, I'd like to, Mr. Chair, uh, mention uh, some, uh, some sports that may be uh, included in the, in the PNG as, as mandatory sports. Number one, Mr. Chair. Uh, swimming. In swimming, there are several uh, events. Uh, of course, basketball. And basketball, there are several events also, including uh, three by th three on three uh, basketball. Uh, cycling. Gymnastics. Track and field, of course, volleyball, archery, 
कुछ रही बैडमिंटन बॉक्सिंग फेंसिंग फुटबॉल martial arts sports there are uh, a lot of uh, martial arts sports but that that can be uh, determined later but mr chad i just would like to uh, include the martial arts uh, martial arts like uh, taekwondo karate judo uh, and jiu jitsu so there are a lot uh, maybe golf modern pentathlon uh rowing well, table tennis and tennis triathlon and weightlifting uh this is just some sports vice chair uh, baka makalimutan mo yung shooting shooting kailangan talaga yan mr chair importante yan ha <laughs> shooting mr chair Of course there there are a lot of uh, events in, in shooting uh which I think should also really be included and we have produced also world champions sorry. yes mr chair uh there are diff- a lot of uh, events in in shooting that that can really be promoted in the countryside like uh, uh air air pistol air rifle uh we can also include mr chair baseball and softball the chess is not an olympic game but uh it is uh usually played in uh in the, the southeast asian games yes chess can can, can be played uh and uh, if if the the body would like to recommend other sports then please be 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 free to to recommend thank you mr chair those are just a few of uh, a, a possible mandatory uh, sports for the png okay noted um i think yung mga Olympic sports talagang importante na maisama at ma-include dito eh. So, kung may nakalimutan po si Vice Chair uh, Richard Gomez ng mga Olympic sports, pakiad na lang. So, uh, Mr. Chair, yes. I, I think it is very important also depending on the depending on the host uh, province or the host city, kung ano yung mga available na mga venues, no? Uh, then, uh, it can be uh, Uh, discussed in uh, in the executive level uh, on on other sports that can be played or may be played uh, during the execution of the national games. Okay, thank you, Vice Chair. Since the Philippine National Games was created to determine the possible composition of the national pool of athletes that will compete in the inter- international tournaments, south- such as the Southeast Asian Games, Asian Games. Asian Beach Games, um, the Olympics. We also invited our national sports associations whose sports are being played regularly in this mandar- mandatory sports events so they can give us their insights and comments. May we hear from our um, NSAs? Can we call Patafa first, uh, Sir Terry? Yeah, uh, thank you. I think our uh, Secretary General has a uh, has a bit of uh, some comments on this. Uh, uh, can we ask uh, the Secretary General of Patafa to? Uh, okay, uh, Secretary General of Patafa, you're recognized. Yeah, thank you, uh, uh, Chairman. Thank you, President Terry. Uh, Edward Koch. Secretary General of the Patafa. Uh, dovetailing from what the uh, uh, Patafa President uh, Terry Capistrano mentioned a while ago, and also uh, what uh, was cited by Bones a while ago on sparking the interest of uh, the general population of our youngsters uh, towards physical activity and sports. I guess it is uh, imperative for uh, for us to revisit and uh, take a second look on the importance of physical education uh, as to how much time is given or allocated, uh, especially for the elementary and high school, because a lot is being, uh, uh, we are talking about high-level sports performance, 
but it is strongly connected with the physical literacy of our entire population. We have to consider, like an occasion point, is the, what uh, Australia did uh, prior to them assuming top-notch position in the world uh, sport competitions. They have practically uh, utilized their education system to effectively uh, expand their population because they're just, uh, I think, a quarter of our population, 25 million. Uh, enabled for them to uh, to to uh, populate the number of uh, of uh, possible candidates for high level performance so before we reach high level performance we need to make sure that at the base uh, at the base of the so called pyramid is that there are lots that we are teaming with uh, possible candidates otherwise we are maybe uh uh, uh missing out the be the best opportunity to utilize our education system uh, to make conducive uh, to make our our, our young uh, uh, athletes, our young possible athletes, our young uh, youngsters uh, to be uh, uh, interested and uh, highly uh, 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 connected with physical activity. So we need to strongly uh, make uh, a serious. Uh, revisit on the importance of putting it, putting back the importance of physical education with the curriculum. Otherwise, we are, we might not be able to get the full, uh, benefit of having this commendable Philippine national games and all other, uh, high level, uh, national competitions geared towards producing top level, uh, uh athletes for our country. Thank you. Uh, if I may be, uh, recognized. Is that Sir Terry again? Yes. Okay, sure. Uh, to conclude, uh, yes, we uh, support the, uh, the bill, the Philippine National Games. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Sir Terry. Uh, anyone else from other NSA? Mr. Chair, I would like to request that the chairman of the Philippine Sports Commission is now online. Oh, okay. To be recognized. Uh, chairman uh, Noli Ayala, good morning, sir. You are now recognized. Uh, good morning, Mr. Chairman, and to the members of the uh, House Committee on Youth and Sports. First of all, I, I, I wish to apologize for not being uh, able to attend this morning physically. I, uh, I was also called to a meeting by the Vice President for the first meeting of the Palarong Pambansa Board. And uh, um, since I have not met with them on this matter, I, I felt that it was also good for uh, the PSC to be apprised of what was going on. And I, I think there are very good inputs as well for this committee, uh, Mr. Chairman. So again, my, my apologies to the committee and uh, to you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I have been uh, listening intently on the discussions uh, being, uh, uh, being made on the uh, Philippine National Games. <clears throat> and again, I, I wish to uh, express the PSC's full support for the bill of Vice Chairman uh, Richard Gomez. Um, we believe that it is time to uh, finally institutionalize the games as uh, expressed by Attorney Iroy. Um, more importantly, of course, is the factor about funding of the Philippine National Games. Um, as uh, very well said by our executive director, this has been a problem uh, ever since the uh, PNG was uh, in, uh, was made or was created by virtue of an executive order, as well as the uh, institutionalizing of the number of uh, events that will be played. Let me just uh, um, state an additional point on this matter. And as I have listened to the uh, statements of the uh, Secretary General of the Patafa, um, the Philippine National Games is at the apex of the pyramid, as mentioned, of our proposed grassroots program, which uh, is part of the National Sports Development Plan. Um, this is, as uh, had been discussed, part of the process for um, discovery or identification of talent um, and to provide a platform for our athletes to compete. The, um, the grassroots program of the PSC under our watch uh, is now being laid out. And part of that is really to uh, uh, 
slowly introduce our young athletes, our young boys and girls towards sport, as also mentioned by uh, Sec Gen Bones Floro. Um, I think this is an important part of ensuring that sports is, becomes not only a, um, an activity, but more so a, a very important um, uh, part of the development of our national teams. Uh, from the grassroots all the way to the elite. Um, the Philippine National Games will become the culmination of the various levels of activity that we propose in our project, Duyan ng Magiting, which is our grassroots program. Uh, this starts from the barangay levels all the way to our festival of sports that will uh, proceed to the Batang Pinoy and, of course, the Palarong Pambansa culminating in the Philippine National Games. Um, I support the events that have been, or the sports that have been mentioned by Vice Chairman uh, Richard Gomez. Um, I think this is also in line with, in, uh, with what we have discussed in the Palarong Pambansa Board with the Vice President this morning. Um, I think they are also reformatting the uh, Palarong Pambansa to focus on sports that are strong in certain regions and certain provinces. And uh, the, uh, this morning I had expressed my full support for that because I think it is very important for us to, um, to be more focused in our strategies. Uh, ako po yung nagpunta sa probinsya ni Congressman Matugas and uh, in Siargao and I saw how strong the surfing program uh, is in, in that area. I have spoken with uh, uh, Congressman Solon uh, and I've seen also how Sarangani has put a premium on uh, boxing, for instance, as well as, of course, uh, in uh, weightlifting and track and field. Uh, I, I have also seen the programs of uh, Congressman uh, uh, Maite Colantes uh, in Batangas, for instance, as well as the program of Congressman uh, Richard Gomez, of course, in terms of um, modern pentathlon, uh, in, uh, in Ormoc. So I think the, the idea, the strategy to focus regions and provinces towards particular sports is, uh, is a wonderful um, development. And that's why when the Palarong Pambansa had also suggested this, I, uh, I had supported this. So uh, this is also going to be part of the strategic development that we are going to implement in the Philippine Sports Commission. So um, again, uh, Mr. Chairman, I, uh, in behalf of the PSE, I fully support the uh, bill on the Philippine National Games. Uh, it is our hope that we can, uh, we can solve the many problems that have beset the PNG, uh, particularly in terms of uh, the regularization of the event, as well as the funding, therefore. And uh, if, uh, again, the PSC is, is uh, willing to uh, work with the committee in order to ensure that the, uh, the bill is implemented properly once passed into law. And of course, that it will be uh, used by the, our stakeholders, the Philippine Olympic Committee and the National Sports Associations um, for the benefit of our athletes and for the benefit of our national teams. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Chair Nolly. Um, thank you for your insights. Um, can we now call on uh, the swimming, swimming NSA? Are you around? Good afternoon. Yes, okay. sir. Uh, Honorable Chair, good afternoon uh, to all the members of the committee and all the guests. Again, this is uh, Ronald Delejo Gliba of Philippine Swimming Inc. Events for uh, PSI President Lailani Velasco. Um, on behalf of our federation, um, we are in full support of House Bill numbers 934, 1954, and uh, 2968, as well as uh, House Bill number 4881 for the Philippine National Games. Uh, we believe that uh, should the said bills be implemented, it will surely help us develop and enhance our local Filipino athletes' skills and uh, talents through active participation not only in swimming but in different sports as well and uh, provide opportunities for a high level of uh, skill development and uh, competitive success. Again, 
Um, this is for the total development and the uh, success of sports in our country. Um, thank you, Mr. Chair, and to all the authors of these bills. Thank you, sir. Uh, can we have someone from the DND, Sir R.J. Lim? Or Miss Mary uh, Jean? Oh, sir, uh, R.J. Lim. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair. The, the Department of National Defense uh, supports the institutionalization of the Philippine National Games. And uh, we, we plan, Your Honor, uh, Mr. Chair, to submit our official position paper on this matter. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Sir RJ, mukhang may music pa siya. <laughs> relax na relax. Um, I'm currently attending an event, uh, Mr. Chair. No, okay. Apologies for that. No worries. <laughs> Um, anyone from the EFP? Ano na ba, Tin? Ano ba ang tanong? Yung ano yung para relaxing? Captain Jags? Armed Forces? Ay, Good afternoon, Mr. Chair. The okay. Office of the Judge Advocate General uh, on behalf of the AFP likewise supports the uh, institutional institutionalization of the Philippine sports. And then we will also submit our position on the proposed measure, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Next, can we hear from the Philippine Olympic Committee, Bones? Can you comment on that for NGAP? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, for golf, uh, yeah, yes, definitely. You know, we, we also mirror what, what I said earlier uh, for the POC. Uh, definitely, we are in full support of this bill. Uh, even if, uh, if speaking for golf, I know it's not such a mainstream sport and is uh, uh, in the past considered an elitist sport, but uh, you know we're hoping to make it mainstream as well. But if you notice, uh, a lot of our golfing greats came from uh, children of caddies, uh, grounds keepers, and so meaning we have a lot of uh, elite golfers coming from more modest background families. No, so uh, as I said earlier, uh, before they can get into grassroots, you know they they get sparked, their interest gets sparked by uh, by golf by golfing heroes. No, so earlier when I mentioned for for POC the sporting heroes. Uh, but yes, you know, so we're in full support of this. If, if uh, golf can be included as well as uh, Vice Chair Gomez has had uh, mentioned. Uh, but yes, uh, speaking in general for all sports, uh, the more sports to be included, not just Olympic sports. Because like Attorney Iroy said earlier and, and Chair Noli said, we, we do have, uh, we do participate in international games uh, other than Olympic sports. No? So just like they said, there are tier one, tier two level sports. So anytime that, that we can uh, include more sports in the Philippine National Games, the better. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you, Bones. Uh, can we hear from Ma'am Josephine Reyes from the NAS? Okay, um, again, we laud the authors um, of the bills which seek to institutionalize a comprehensive grassroots sports program that will serve as the country's premier sports competition and venue for nationwide talent search, for identifying and developing outstanding athletes who have the potential to excel in various sports and place the country at the forefront of international sports competition. NAS is likewise uh, focused on grass sports uh, development program by providing a balance between education and sports training, which with um, exposure to local international training and competitions. Thus, the institutionalization of the PNG is a welcome development for NAS. In general, additional budget for sports will definitely result in a healthier, more active, and more developed citizenry. In particular, the PNG will serve as an avenue for the NAS student athletes to be exposed to high-level competitions and lead to the further enhancement of the skills of our student-athletes. The PNG may also like, may, like, may likewise serve as a feeder 
for the NAS pool of student athletes who will be given full support by the, by the government. For NAS to be able to attain its goal, turning exceptionally talented young athletes, young Filipino athletes in our country's future elite athletes. So we first need to identify and invite the student athletes to apply. We believe that we will be able to achieve this through the PNG. So I, we are we fully support and we thank you for the authors of these bills. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, can we have the DILG, uh, Miss Octavo? Good afternoon, Mr. Chair. On behalf of the department, we would like to manifest likewise its full support on the passage of the drug measures. However, sir. Um, in the organization of the local sports council, we observe that only the provincial governors and the city mayors are mentioned in the proposed measures. Um, may we be clarified if if municipalities are not included in the proposed measures, Mr. Chair? And further, may we also suggest that the the composition of the local sports council be be indicated in the proposed measures. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Can we ask the authors, Vice Chair? Mr. Chair. Richard Gomez. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Gomez. Chair, before uh, the, the good author, would like to request uh, or ask the ILG, the yes, good gentleman, if, uh, what if we include ULAP? ULAP? In the preparation of the IRR, sir? Yeah, no, no, no. Do, for the bill, for the for the said bill, for the proposal, we amend, uh, especially on item uh, section six, uh, under the coordinating agencies and instrumentalities, mm -hmm. that we include ULAP. Uh, as earlier mentioned, you were worried because uh, the the League of Municipalities or LMP or the municipal mayors are not included. So why not uh, enjoin ULAP or make them part of the coordinating agency? So that you will already present are the are the president of the league of the of the provinces, the city mayors, the municipal mayors, the Philippine councillors, the ABC, the Association of Barangay Councils, mm -hmm. the PCS. May, yes, may we get the uh, 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 the comments of BILG, Mr. Chair? Yes, uh, I'm your record. Yes, sir. Um, um, we submit that it would be better if the ULAP will be included in the proposed measures. Considering that the, the presidents of the League of Provinces and the presidents of the League of Municipalities will also be um, considering that we, they will be able to craft the IRR, then we recommend that the ULAP will be enjoined to be included in the proposed measures. Mr. Chair, with the uh, if the good the author will uh, uh, allow that uh, under Section Six under coordinating agencies and instrumentalities, uh, we will be able to add letter G, where we will be able to hopefully uh, enjoin ULAP, Mr. Chair. No move, Mr. Chair. Uh, is it okay with the authors? By all means, Mr. Chair. Okay. Approved. Um, I think uh, Vice Chair may question then si Ma'am ng DILG. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, in my sponsorship um, speech on Section 3, it's, I stated that this proposed uh, bill seeks to find solution to this dilemma of Philippine sports by providing a structure for a fully integrated and comprehensive national sports program linking grassroots sports pro promotion to the elite sports development and encourage all local government officials and units to promote the development of sports in the countryside covering all barangays, towns, municipalities, cities, and provinces. This is also to encourage and assist various national sports associations to promote their respective sports mm -hmm. at the grassroots level, providing the necessary linkages with the local government units, Mr. Chair. I also, uh, in some of the salient features also, Mr. Chair, uh, I stated the participating LGUs uh, should organize a multi-sectoral sport, local sports council. So uh, in the, in the participate, participating LGUs, that, that includes uh, the barangays, municipalities, cities, uh, and provinces, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you, Vice Chair. Uh, Ma'am, do you have uh, any other comments? Uh, no, no further comments, Mr. Chair. Thank you. 
Okay, thank you. Uh, Ulap is here also. Can we ask uh, Ma'am Miriam Padua, your acknowledge? Um, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, uh, apologies again for my, I am experiencing technical difficulties as of the moment. I, I hope you can uh, hear me. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, thank you. Um, Mr. Chair, uh, good afternoon once again, Mr. Chair and the members of the committee, my fellow resource persons and guests. Um, uh, ULAP uh, would like to manifest its full support to these noble proposed measures. Um, also, uh, second, uh, initially, um, we proposed uh, that the, the leagues and uh, ULAP uh, will be included in the crafting of the IRR to be the representative of the LGUs. And for other comments, uh, we shall submit our position paper. Um, uh, comments and recommendation, uh, we shall submit our uh, position papers on the on these proposed acts, uh, Your Honor, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, that would be all. Thank you for, for inviting Ula. Thank you, ma'am. Um is someone from DepEd here already that can comment? Wala, wala din. So, Commission on Higher Education. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, sir. Uh, you do. I would like to call my colleague, uh, Ms. Ana Dulce Yango, to state the position of Ked regarding this PNG house pins. Yes, ma'am, you're recognized. Uh, good morning. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, we, I would just like to read the position letter, which was uh, which was asked by the chairman to be drafted as uh, part of our uh, uh, position for the uh, uh, institution institutionalization of the Philippine National Game. And please allow me to read it. Uh, sorry for. All right. So. Uh, as our position from the Commission on Higher Education, we would like to commend and support House Bill uh, number 934-1958 and 2968-4881 and, and would like to express our stand as to the importance of the Act, which will strengthen the Executive Order 64 of 19, uh, 1993 for the Sports for All. Uh, this will be able to provide an avenue for the athletes, regardless of the sector they belong to, enabling them to showcase their talents on an equal ground. Um, and this will also enable the establishment of a true sense of unification among sports groups with one common goal of promoting and propagating the respective sports in the goal of honing a world-class Filipino athletes. We would also like to manifest that the facilitation of these games uh, we would like to be part of this whatever um, whatever things that that shed would might be able to provide in order to make this uh, competition very successful to be able to protect the rights of every athletes in each sector and to promote of course co cooperation and collaboration in the hosting and the conduct of the said games and as part of the comprehensive development objective of the bill in sowing true harmony and solidarity across all sports sectors, whether private or public. This will also provide an avenue for all sports associations inside and outside of NSA to join a national level of competition to be part of a selection among the best of the best from the different LGUs, education institutions, and sports associations operating in the promotion and the propagation of a specific sports. This will also give our athletes ample opportunities to join and complete, compete on an equal ground. That, that a national games is a manifestation of the goal to create a comprehensive bridging platform for a holistic Philippine sports development program from basic secondary, which is the Palarong Pambansa, to tertiary national to the national tertiary games of CHED, and of course the elite amateur level of the national the Philippine national games of PSC. And this house bill will certainly pave the way for a comprehensive framework design for the development of the sports in the country. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Chair. 
Thank you. And lastly, from the DBM, Ms. Mihang. Yes, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much. Um, with regard to the appropriations provision of the bills, uh, we note the following for Mr. Chair. Um, we find that the provision uh, earmarks a specific amount for purposes of the Act. Uh, this is discouraged as it is inconsistent with the budget process. As a policy, um, funding of programs and projects should be subject to the usual budgeting process and congressional authorization, which take into account the availability of resources, sustainability of budget support, and the annual budgetary framework and priorities of the government. We likewise note that the APRO language identifies the specific activities or undertakings of the agencies concerned for funding. We kindly suggest, Mr. Chair, that the determination of the activities or programs be done during the budgeting process instead to afford the agencies with flexibility. As to the nomenclature, Mr. Chair, the term internal revenue allotment is now referred to as national tax allotment in view of the Supreme Court ruling on the Mandanas case, where the shares of LGUs in uh, national taxes expanded beginning this fiscal year 2022. Now, as to the proviso that all LGU shall also be allocated annually, an additional NTA equivalent to 1%. We respectfully note, Mr. Chair, that the DBM computes the shares of LGUs in national taxes based on the formula provided in Section 285 of the Local Government Code. So it may be necessary, Mr. Chair, to revisit the effect of this proviso to the said section of the LGC. Um, finally, Mr. Chair, as to the APRO language, we suggest the revision of the same in line with the usual stand, the usual or standard APRO language as such. Um, the amount necessary for the implementation of the Act shall be charged against the current year appropriations of the departments or agencies concerned. Thereafter, the funding requirements for the ensuing year shall be included in the Annual General Appropriations Act, subject to the usual budgeting process and authorization by Congress. On the other hand, the budget for the implementation of the Act by local government units shall be charged against the national attack National tax allotment shares. Uh, that would be all, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Um, I would like to address my query to the authors. Uh, I have noticed that in their house bills, there's no proposal for a PNG board. Just a background there, when the committee prepared the substitute bill of the Philippine National Games last Congress, it took into consideration or, or uh, organized organizational structure of the Palarong Pambansa, which stipulates as a creation of Palarong Palaro Board that functions as a lead agency making and coordinating body for the preparation and conduct of the Palarong, Palaro, Palarong Pambansa Games. I think it would be beneficial if one making policy is not only confined to the one agency, Hence, if uh, Rep. Uh, Gomez or Go and Goles are amenable, perhaps we should create a PNB, uh, PNG board. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, in some of the salient features of uh, the proposed bill, uh, the proposal is for the Philippine Sports Commission to be the governing body of the PNG and form an executive committee and uh, the Philippine National uh, Games and National Secretariat. For the DALG, uh, the, proposed, the, the proposal is to be in charge of the LGUs participating in the PNG. Participating LGUs shall organize a multi-sectoral local sports council and ULAP, which will have distinct constituencies and sole authority in delegating their participants. LSEs, local sports councils or ULAP, must have a chairman uh, we can also include the Armed Forces of the Philippines as head of uh, LSE, LSE or, or the ULAP can be the, the head. Now, for the Philippine Olympic Committee, they shall be in charge of the National Sports Associations participating in the said games. The National Sports Associations shall be in charge of organizing the competitions of their respective sports. So, uh, basically, this can be part of, uh, of the board, Mr. Chair. 
As regards to the PNG board, well, there was a reservation in inclusion of the AFP during the last Congress. Uh, dahil ang military personnel yata hindi po ito sa uh, private. Tama ba? Uh, the, the, the PNG in nature is... Uh... Is government uh, spear, uh, is spearheaded by, by, by the LGUs, by, by, by the government, Mr. Chair. Okay. But I think it will be better if you just involve the DND. No problem, Mr. Chair. Uh, to, con to conduct the PNP. So indeed, yung secretary ng DND is ang kasama po sa board ng, ng um, PNG board together with the PSC chairman. Yeah, Mr. Chair. But uh, my suggestion is uh, not to limit the DFP the if they have athletes who would like to join the PNG because yeah. a lot of our athletes come from uh, the, the service. Yeah. Yes, uh, either Air Force, Army, yeah. or Philippine National Police. Kaya nga sa DND tayo para lahat covered. Navy, Army, di ba? Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay. Thank you. Having said that the final or substitute version of the PNG bill, if authors are amenable, I would like to promote the inclusion of the DND secretary as one of the members. So now may we recognize uh, our vice chair, Eric Bohain, for his query. Um, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, under section six of the House bill, uh, 934 of uh, Representative uh, Richard Gomez, he suggested nga the inclusion of the DND and um magkakaroon sila ng parang separate LSC. Uh, Kung baga may separate team sila. Uh, maganda naman po yung wisdom nito because uh, in my experience, almost half, o baka more than half pa nga of our national athletes are part of the uh, um, armed forces or uh, the ND. Um, in fact, Tokyo Olympics, there's over 100 athletes. Uh, marami pang athletes doon are in the military like Heidi Lin. Uh, DS herself. Just for the information of the committee, may we inquire from the PSC, the Department of National Defense or the Armed Forces, uh, ilan po ba talaga yung uh, number of athletes, uh, uh, soldier athletes, tsaka ilan po rin yung number of soldier coaches uh, right now in the uh, lineup of uh, of the Philippine Sports Commission. Uh, at kung Kung meron ka rin breakdown from alin ang, ilan ng sa Army, ilan ng sa Navy, ilan sa Air Force, uh, at kung meron din tayo sa PNP, uh, baka meron rin kayong information. Mr. Chair, Mr. Vice Chair, right now we have Here. almost 100 uh, national athletes who are members of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. We have almost 12 from the Philippine Coast Guard also and i think coast guard they have also a program with their support services their sports program and i think the the coaches mr chair is around 30 we will provide the detailed list uh mr chair uh because right now uh, all of which are under the data service with the psc and uh, of those uh at this mr chair as mentioned in fact the medalist is a member of the armed forces the marshal is a member of the armed forces and then Nistipiti Isho is a member of the Philippine Coast Guard. So almost all of the medalists, Mr. Chair, are members of the enlisted personnel. Thank you. Um, on the proposal of Vice Chair Gomez of recognizing the DND as one of the local sports council, which shall have the sole authority to enter military athletes in the PNG, may we hear uh, from our resource persons from the PSC, DND, and AFP? Uh, D DND or AFP? Uh, Your Honor, from the DND. Yes. Uh, cur okay. Currently, uh, the, uh, the draft bill, uh, the, the bill of uh, Honorable uh, Richard Gomez, House Bill number 934, we are currently discussing it. Um, and then, uh, based on the uh, meetings here or in the committee, we will submit our official position. But uh, as of now, uh, Mr. Chair, Your Honor, we do not have a uh, position yet regarding the uh, designation of the DNDS LSE. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. From the AFP? 
Mr. Chair, if I may add. Uh, yes, I, uh, Attorney. Uh, right now, Mr. Chair, we have 148 members of the Armed Forces of the Philippines from the various sports. So the sports that we have, Mr. Chair, is from athletics, badminton, baseball, basketball, boxing, chess, cycling, judo, kuras, muay thai, netball, obstacle sports, pinkaksilat, pitang, rowing, sipaktaklaw, shooting, softball, soft tennis, para athletes, we have also Mr. Chair Diving, water polo, lawn tennis, and volleyball, weightlifting, wrestling, Mr. Chair. So I will forward all the list, Mr. Chair, together with the uh, list of coaches uh, uh, who are on the list uh, under the PSC, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Atoyni. Marami pala, no? Karamihan yata ng athletes natin talaga na sa Armed Forces. Armed Forces and, natin. and Coast Guard naman, Mr. Chair, we have 18. We have boxing. Of course, the prominent is Nisti Peticio. We have judo. We have also kuras, muay, pitang, para athletes, sipaktaklaw, soft tennis, and weightlifting. On the PNP naman, Mr. Chair, we have three. Currently, the Pinkak Silat, two, and a wrestling, Mr. Chair. So these are the list of the athletes as of now, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Attorney. Uh, from the AFP, do you have someone? Mr. Chairman? Uh, yes, Chair Nolly. Uh, just to add, uh, I recently um, attended the closing of the AFP PNP PCG Olympics. And I actually had mentioned this to, the, uh, to General Bacaro as well as to the uh, 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 commanding generals of the major services. And I had, uh, in fact, discussed with them the possibility of having the uh, AFP uh, field a team in the Philippine National Games. I think they are very open to this. Um, and uh, we, we actually discussed also the number of athletes that are already part of the national teams, as discussed by Attorney Hiroi. And as a matter of fact, um, we are also uh, hoping to come up with uh, a memorandum of agreement with the AFP uh, so that we can continue to train the uh, the athletes and coaches of the coming from the armed forces of the Philippines. So, just as an additional uh, input, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, with, in so far as the uh, opportunities for the AFP to be part of the Philippine National Games is concerned, and if this is the case, I'm, I support. I, I suppose uh, the AFP top brass as well as the PNP uh, should have a um, a position in the PNG board. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Chair Nolly. Um, if there's no more from the AFP, um, may we hear any opinions from our colleagues? Are there any? Mr. Chair, yes, uh, I believe that we were able to lengthily discuss and we were able to he hear the national offices uh, on mm -hmm. their comments and uh, I believe that the bill is worthy of passing already. So it's a move that we pass subject to the amendments to the recommendations of the members, Mr. Chair. So move. Um, before that, uh, there's still a disagreeing provisions of the pro uh, with the proposed fundings. So um, first for the uh, preparation, organization, and operations of the Philippine National Games, Kong Gomez, Proposal is of 50 million, while Congolese proposes that it shall be sourced from the general appropriation funds of the PSC, and while 180 million is proposed by Kongeda and uh, Congas Tambunting. And for the preparation, training, and participation of athletes, all the authors except for Kong Richard proposes that LGUs um, are authorized to allocate at least 1% of their internal revenue allotment, while Kong Richard proposes exactly 1%. I believe that this phrase at, at least would make a substantive difference, especially to the LGUs, which have a capacity to allocate more funds. It means they could give more than the minimum percentage prescribed. So, may mga disagreeing factors tayo. Siguro, we can put this into a nominal voting so we can um, approve the bill already. Um, 
May we ask Comsec okay. to do the nominal voting? Uh, can we just suspend for a minute also? Mr. Chair, we would like to call each member of the Committee on Youth and Sports for their vote. Previously, we requested our members to vote via Viver or those who are physically attending in this um, meeting may also register their votes, Mr. Chair. So I would like to call on our vice chairpersons for their vote. First, as to the amount to be allocated for the operations of the PNG, uh, the proposals are 180 million, 50 million, and third, the funding shall be charged against the general appropriations funds of the PSC. Vice Chair Nograles, Vice Chair Hernandez, Vice Chair Richard Gomez, 180.50 or PSCGAA, Vice Chair? Uh, if you will ask me, Comsec, ang initial niya 200, no? Yeah, 200 and 1% uh, uh, from the NDA of the LGUs. At least 1%. Uh, Vice Chair, the second, the second uh, query is on the matter of the allocation or the percentage allocation from the local government's units era. Exactly 1% as proposed by Vice Chair Gomez or at least 1% of LGU's era. As uh, mentioned by our chair a while ago, exactly 1% means only limiting to 1% era, while at least 1% of LGU's era, LGU's who are more capacitated to provide more than the proposed 1% may allocate when, uh, when they saw desire. Madam Comsec, I, I uh, suggest I propose uh, exactly 1% 1, 1 coming from the NDAs. Now, if uh, the LCEs or the local chief executives uh, are able to add more funds, then that, that can come from their own uh, uh, funding source, from, from their own LGUs. It is very important that uh, uh, an exact amount, an exact uh, percentage uh, will be uh, included, will derive from the NDAs. That way, it will ensure the LGUs will uh, be able to have a uh, sports program. Noted, Mr. Vice. Vice Chair Eric Buhain. Um, considering the proposed budget of uh, PSC is for 200 and the choices are uh, 50 or 80 or from their GAA, so I would, um, my vote will be for... Uh, 250. <laughs> <laughs> More. <laughs> uh, 200 na rin ako, uh, because uh, I think this is a very, very important program for our national uh, team uh, in preparation for future events. And uh, for the NTA, I am uh, at least 1%. Vice Chair Hernandez. Vice Chair, at least, at least one person. Vice Chair Victoria Yu, JSL Victoria Yu. Um, for the first question on the matter of funding the PNG preparations, organi organizations, and uh, and operations, uh, my vote will be the same with the representative Goles that it will be charged against the GA. General Appropriations Fund of the PSC. Um, on the second question, on the matter of allocating uh, ERA for preparation, training, and participation, I vote for at least 1% of LGU's ERA. Thank you, ma'am. Next, we have Vice Chair Paulo Ortega. Mr. Vice Chair. He was here a while ago, but he stepped out, uh, Comsec. Yeah. 
Um, may we recognize first uh, Honorable Peter Miguel, 2nd District of South Cobato. Good morning, sir. Next, Mr. Chair, we have uh, Vice Chair Aniela Bianca Tolentino. A while ago, she voted for the uh, general appropriations of PSC and then at least 1% of LGU's era. Next, Vice Chair Journey Jet Nisai. Next, we have Vice Chair Michael Romero. Next, we have Vice Chair Lord Alan Velasco. And for our members, Kong Eric Martinez, Kong Tony Pet Albano, Kong Romel Rico Angara, Kong Julian Baronda, Kong Arnie Fuentebella, Kong Romulo Peña, Kong Eddie Bong Plaza, Kong Jose Bong Teves, Kong Christian Unavia, Kong Erwin Cheng, Kong Emano. Same, Madam Chair, with the vote of uh, the good gentle lady from Zamboanga. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chair, I would like to clarify that uh, his vote would be General Appropriations Fund or PSC and at least 1% of LGU's era, Mr. Chair. Yes, Madam Chair. Yes, uh, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much. <laughs> Congressman Chino Almario, Congressman Amatong, Congressman Atayde, Congressman Kajayon Uy. Uh, chair, Mr. Chair. Yung bang ano, yung sa options, kasama na ba yung 200 na binagit nila or hindi pa? Pwede mo, sa pwede mo. So I support yung sa 200. Tapos sa uh, second, uh, at least to give the LGU certain flexibility. Awain mo pa po author ni. Tanan ka rin. Yeah, sige. Anina, ipa na magmo ba? Ko order mo. Congressman Atayde, Congressman Kajayon Uy, Congressman Dimaporo, Congressman Darte Dimaporo. I'm here. Um, I vote also for the same. 200 million or PSC? Yeah, for the one, a minimum of 1% and then 200 and then the 200. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Congressman Dante Garcia. Congressman Anthony Horibata. Congressman Mastura. Congressman Peter Miguel. Congressman. Yes, Congressman Peter Miguel. Yes, so thank you. I will vote for the 200 and at least 1% of uh, ERA. Thank you, sir. Congressman Joseph Tan. Congressman Emigdio Tanwatko. Ako, Con I vote for the uh, General Appropriations Fund and at least 1%. Thank you, Kong. Next, we have Congressman Patrick Michael Vargas. Congressman Miguel Luis Villafuerte. Congressman Ecleo. Congressman Marvin Rilio. Congressman Almonte. For Congressman Kate Maika Tan, he voted via Viver. He said he's voting for 180 million and at least 1%. Congressman Antonio Ligarda, Congressman Jaime Coanco, Congressman Yap, Congressman Rebilla, Congressman Aquino, Congressman Tulfo, Congressman Ong Chuan, Congressman Abalos, Congressman Manuel, Congressman Gutierrez. We also have okay. vote by Sorry. Yes. May I place my vote, please? Representative Nagrales. Yes, Congressman. Yes, Vice. Um, uh, uh, Comsec, I vote for 200 and at least 1%. Thank you. Thank you, Vice. Congressman Jonathan Abalos voted for 
voting that funding shall be charged against PSC. So that's Congressman Abalos, PSC, and he voted for at least 1%. Mr. Chair, let me check our other Viber groups. Congressman Joseph Tan messaged me and he voted for 200 million and at least 1%. So that's Congressman Joseph Tan, 200 million and at least 1%. That would be all, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Comsec. Can you tabulate? Uh, let's spend first for a few minutes. Session resume. So, considering majority voted for 200 million and at least 1% uh, allocation of the era, the committee recommended recommends the same and the chair directs ComSec to include the said funding provision in the final version of the bill. Considering that we have thoroughly discussed the proposed PNG, may we now hear the sentiment of the body for a formal motion. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve House Bill numbers 934, 1954, 2968, 4881, subject to style and amendments. Having moved and seconded House Bill 934, 1954, 2968, 4881 are hereby approved. The COMSEC is hereby directed to prepare the substitute bill for the said measures and transmit the same to the Committee of Appropriations for its considerations. Congratulations, Vice yeah. Chair. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'd like to uh, manifest on the floor if we can include all members present to be co-author of the said bill. Okay. Uh, noted. So congratulations. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much, everyone. Uh -huh. Salamat. So on a final note, should be there future referrals similar to any of these measures and the committee adopted and approved today. The committee secretary is hereby directed 
to consolidate or include similar measures in the preparation of the substitute bill. Substitute uh, resolution and committee reports and that the respective authors of the same be included as co-authors, therefore. So before we adjourn, I would like to reiterate my gratitude to everyone, our resource persons, and to our members, our vice chairs, for coming to our committee and sharing your valuable time today. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? Mr. Chairman, I move to adjourn. So being, uh, being no other matters uh, to be discussed, the meeting is now adjourned. Maraming salamat. Mabilis yun. Usually, naabot ako po. Three, four, four.